Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Gamester81 and I'm really excited to introduce you to my new channel. This is called Gamester81 Arcade. As you know, I have three channels. This will be my fourth. I have my Gamester81 channel, which most of you guys know about. I have my Nostalgiaholic channel, that's with an NES, as a Nintendo Entertainment System. That's a channel that where I review items from my childhood growing up. I also have a Star Wars Net 77 channel where I review my Star Wars collection. And I have this one, Gamester81 Arcade. Now in case you guys are wondering, What's this channel all about? Well, I plan on uploading a lot of games, arcade games, and, and doing reviews over arcade games growing up. So this this channel is fully dedicated to arcades. Uh, so I really encourage you guys to check them out. Uh, my first video, I wanted to show you one of my favorite arcade games growing up. It's called Tapper. It came out by Bally Midway in 1983. It was just Tapper, actually Budweiser Tapper was what it was. And it, had, it was one of the first games, or I, I recall, that had advertising in the game. I know Pole Position had some advertising, but this is one growing up that I was really fond of. And the arcade, I remember looking at the arcade growing up, and it was awesome. They had these tappers that you actually use for joysticks. It was great. Uh, 1984, they actually got rid of the whole Budweiser theme, and they just called it Root Beer Tapper. I guess they felt that they were targeting the wrong audience. A lot of kids were playing this game, but they didn't want to get the wrong message. This game has been ported to a ton of consoles, Atari 2600, ColecoVision, uh, a bunch of vintage computers. Recently, Midway, uh, they actually really, uh, they came out with a collection pack that has this game, which I'm going to be using to show this game review. Uh, and it came out, for my version, it came out on the Xbox, but I believe it was also ported to the PS2. This is a great game, guys. I really encourage you guys to check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. So let's check out the first stage. There's actually four stages to this game. This is the first stage. See the background where it says Root Beer, the sign? That was actually replaced. Initially it said Budweiser, because it was sponsored by Budweiser. But they changed it uh, due to, I think they just felt kids were playing a lot, and they didn't want to encourage excessive drinking, because there's a lot of drinking in this game. So you're basically the whole object is you're this bartender, and you're supposed to serve these patrons before they get to you. If they get to you and you're not there, you've been serving time, you lose a turn. Those empty glasses, if mugs, if they get to you, and they fall off the table, you lose a turn. It's all about timing and matching how many drinks to give each patron. There's these little funny things at the very end. Now there's these bonus stages as well where this guy looks like a, a robber. He shakes these sodas. Okay, initially there were beer cans, and again there was a root beer, there was a Budweiser logo there, and you're supposed to decide pick which one is right. If you pick the right one, which in this case I will, you get bonus points. 3,000 bonus points. Now let's see what happens if you pick the wrong one. It's going to blow up in your face. It's going to play. Sound effects aren't bad. In fact, the music in this game, I actually really like the music in this game. Here's a stage two. This stage is significantly harder than the first stage. And again, it's all about timing and about how, when to get those mugs. That wasn't too bad. At this point, I'm making it look easier than the actual game is. Hurt my foot on that one. Now the programs who made this game actually made a game also by Midway Valley. Midway, it was called Timber, which is very similar, and Domino Man. They actually left, the same programmers left Midway and started Golden Tea, which is kind of interesting. It's a lot of drinking. Oh, I think I hit a bird or something, I don't know what that is. It's kind of funny. I really like the controls in the arcade playing this. So you can see how many there are now. Can I get that quick before it falls? Oh. It's about knowing where to go and timing. Now even though it, it's all in perspective, so the front row is actually longer than the back row, so you gotta make sure that the back row, even though it's shorter, you gotta make sure you take care of that first. That's the key. So it's very challenging. They're not the same distance, you know, as you can see, because the perspective, it kind of skews a little bit. Oh, see it fell. There, there are four stages, as I mentioned earlier in this game. There's this one. The next stage I'm going to show you is a punk rock stage. And then the stage after that is like a space alien stage. And to be honest with you, I, I'm not that great at this game. We're good enough to get to the space alien stage. So in this video, I couldn't get to it. But you have to play the arcade to see for yourself. Okay, it is very challenging. That's what I really like about these retro arcade games. They were challenging. All right, we're going to 
levels gonna end, it's gonna do another bonus stage, and then just for the sake of time, let's get that bonus stage, the same one I showed you before. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier in this video on the controls, if you're in the very top, you push up, you start at the very bottom, and you push down, you're at the very top again, so this saves you some time, it's kind of a shortcut, so to speak. If you're running and getting the glass, you can actually push the button and you automatically start tapping, you know, to run back, so that saves some time too. But once you beat all four stages, you, it just repeats, and you go back to stage one, and it gets progressively harder. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and take care. Happy gaming.